Okay, welcome back to Friday Night Comics. This uh, episode, I'm going to go through my collection of Marvel Milestone Edition comics. And what these are are just uh, reprints of key issues, uh, right down to the advertisements that were in the original comic book as well. So, uh, this is Amazing Spider Man number one. And here is Iron Fist number 14. And so what it does do is tell you why this is significant, and this is the first appearance of Sabretooth. It's a great way to read up on some of these comics that you wouldn't otherwise uh, be able to afford, because they are kind of expensive. Um, and inside, the pages are glossy. They're not like that old comic book paper, you know, where the pages get yellow and the ink is kind of faded. Uh, here's Fantastic Four, number five. And this is the first appearance of Doctor Doom. This is Incredible Hulk number one from 1962. Here's Amazing Fantasy number 15, and this is the very first appearance of Spider Man from 1962. Giant Size X Men number one. A reprinting of Giant Size X Men from 1975. I, uh, I plan to get this book uh, for my collection someday. Uh, we'll see how that works out. But this is a this is a great story. I've actually read the reprinted version of this. Here's uh, Iron Man number fifty-five, and the significance of this is that it's the first appearance of Thanos. 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 I don't know how you pronounce it. Here's the X Men number nine. And this is from 1965. And this is significant because it's the first battle between the Mighty Avengers and the Uncanny X-Men. Here's another comic book that I intend to pick up for my collection. Amazing Spider-Man number 129 featuring the Punisher. It's a great comic book. Pretty expensive and high grade. Nice cover there. Here we have the X-Men number one, reprinted from 1963. I think I have two of these in here. Yep, I have two of these. And then here is Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine number one. And this features Wolverine, X-Men, and Tuck Caveboy. I don't know what that means. Uh, T-U-K colon cave boy Marvel Comics presents number one Uncanny X-Men 201 Captain America Comics 1 and 2 so Wolverine there and this is the last one I have two of these also this is the Fantastic Four number one from 1961 so we'll run through these again just the covers These could be had pretty cheap, maybe three or four bucks a piece if you want to pick them up. And there you have it. That'll do it for this episode of Friday Night Comics. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, next week, I'll be focusing on my favorite X-Books. So stay tuned. I'll see you then.